Hey guys, good afternoon. Uh, today we're going to be doing some swatches, uh, greens, more greens. I have a ton of greens to swatch. And these are the ones we're going to be doing. We're going to have Colorverse Office Green and Colorverse Laurel. We're going to have three oysters, uh, Namsen and then Zhang Jade and Van Diemen's Apple Island Green. Let me get a little more light in here. Uh, that should be good. Okay. So we're going to start out with Colorverse. I flipped the, to the Colorverse section of my swatch journal. I'm using a Galen Leather notebook with Tomoe River paper in it. And it is uh, thunderstorming here and raining, so you may hear some of that in the background. So we're going to start off with uh, Office Green. I'm going to zoom in a little here. Actually, I'm going to zoom in a little more. Eh, that's a little too much. And this should be good. And I'm going to be writing ex excerpts from uh, Anthem by Ayn Rand. So this, unfortunately, looks nothing like what I have on my paper. The office green is much, much brighter than this. This looks like a alligator kind of green. It is not this dark or dull. It is a much, much brighter green. I wish the camera on my iPhone did colors better, but it... sorry about that. That doesn't, that's not accurate at all. So that's not going to be helpful to anybody. Hopefully the other ones show up a little better. All right, next up is Laurel. Oops.
almost looks blue. Uh, let me see. Oh, I didn't turn that in here. Yep, that just looks blue. Man. Yeah, this isn't accurate at all either. I did try to buy a webcam, but uh, it just, the, the sound quality was terrible and I actually bought a fairly good one as far as the reviews went. So I'll just be using my iPhone probably to do headshots. I do have a couple of those planned and I'll be doing those uh, fairly soon. Oops. So no webcam for me. All right, next up are the three oysters, which that's in the back. Yep, here we go. So that's Doldum. Which that actually, see that looks pretty accurate. Doldum's a little lighter in real life, but the, I guess yeah, that looks pretty dark. Damn, I hate this camera. The, the camera is like really good quality, but the colors are just totally off on some things. Some things they're really good, some things they're not. And we'll see how these do. All right, we're gonna do Three Oysters Namsum, which I had been looking for a green to replace Lamy Crystal Peridot because Peridot sheen's red, and the Namsum, the one I'm doing right now, is probably the closest I found to Peridot. So I will give this one, um, I've just played around with it. I don't think I've put it in a pen yet, but I will eventually to try it. But this is probably the closest I found to Lamy Peridot that does not have red sheen. It's a really, really dark green. I'm anticipating it might almost look black on the camera. Now you can, it looks like diamine green black on the camera, but it is, that's slightly more accurate than the other two we just did, but it's still, it's a little lighter in person, uh, definitely more green in person, but still pretty dark. In the heavier parts of the swatch, it definitely looks black. This is a really beautiful green ink.
So in the writing, it is pretty dark. Uh, this looks, what you're seeing on camera, looks like diamine green black, but it's a little lighter in real life. As it dries, there's, it's, it's definitely more green through here. It still looks black on the edges here where it's really wet, but definitely a very, very dark green, green, <laughs> very green, green. And now we have Zhang in Jade, which I did like this one too. I don't, I don't, from what I remember, it's not as dark as Namsan, but it's still a very pretty color. I like the name too. Yeah, the in real life, it's definitely a more jewel-toned green. It is brighter than this. Ugh, I may have to buy, like, a legit camera, because I would like to do ink reviews, and this is just impossible. I don't even know if I'll post this video, because none of the colors look like what you see. And I'll probably still post it, but they're not accurate. <laughs> You can always look up reviews of these online too. People have like legit cameras that they use in ink reviews. <laughs> Unlike me or on swatches where you can actually see the color. have a really exciting video coming. It is going to be a haul from Bomb Kuchen, 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 I don't know how you say it, but I've bought some superior labor items and just some other little knickknacks and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. It should be here in like a week hopefully. After I bought it I've never bought anything from them. The, I guess the owner Wakako sent me an email just asking like how I plan to use my items just you know questions <laughs> and it was a really nice email I've never got an email like that where someone was just interested in like you know how are you going to use our products we're so excited to hear so that was really interesting so I'm going to do a video on that soon and I have some more superior labor items I want to order that they're out of stock currently but once they come back in stock I'll order I've been seeing a lot of that online and I'm excited to try it I know a lot of people like superior labor, and I, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon <laughs> with that. All right, so last up we have Van Diemen's Apple Island Green. Um, I don't know if I have a Van Diemen's section in here yet. I have Black Pine Spider Orchid, but I don't know if I've swatched that. Oh. Okay, excuse me while I see if I've got that. It would be in the back. I don't think I do. 
Yeah, I definitely don't have band-aids up here. Do I? No. Okay, we're gonna create a new section. I'm definitely not doing anything else with Quisby. Okay, so Apple Island Green. And once again, that looks nothing like on the page. So the ink in real life is a very bright green ink with like, just a little, with darkness where it's pooled. So this is, oh, this is not accurate. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to buy a legit camera. <laughs> There's no point in doing this because you can't even, you can't even tell the color. I'll probably still put, put it up. Some people might like, just having it on in the background and hearing the scratching on the paper or something, I don't know. try some more Van Diemen's inks. Uh, the couple that I want are out of stock right now at the nest, so I'm waiting for them to come back in stock. Excited to try these inks. It's always exciting when like a new brand um, appears on the scene. So everybody gets real excited to try all their inks. I, I, well, I, actually, I don't know if they're new. They're new to me. I'd never heard of them before like a couple months ago. Or a few months ago. Alright, so this is Apple Island Green, and this is a true bright green, like, just really bright. This is, oh my god, it's, it's not accurate at all. I'm so sorry about this, I might as well not even have recorded this video, because this isn't, like I said, this isn't helpful to anyone. Yeah, that's like really dark compared to real life. So in real life, this is like, if you think of a green apple, that this is what this reminds me of. The name is very fitting. It literally reminds me of like a bright green apple. So this color is not accurate at all. But some other uh, properties, I don't see any sheening. There is some shading, not a ton, but there's there's some. Uh, with the three oysters inks, Namsen, has some shading, or not shading, sheen on the edges. It looks like black sheen. I don't know if you can tell. 
And there we go. It has some black sheen. Um, plenty of sheen in the writing. But again, the dip pen puts down a lot of ink. Uh, there's not much shading with Nomsen. A Zhang Un Jade. Uh, quite a bit of shading. Well, at least here in the swatch, there's really no sheen. Um, there's not really any shading down here in the writing. Now that I'm looking at these two, I actually think I like this one the best. I think I might put that one in a pen. And then, what are the others? Let's go over those. Again, all these colors are just like lighter and brighter in real life. Office Green has some, um, looks like red sheen. That may be hard to tell on camera, but it looks like red sheen. Um, not really any shading with the Office Green. Uh, Colorverse Laurel has no sheen. Maybe like a little dot of sheen up here. Otherwise, no sheen. And then no shading. Laurel like reminds me kind of like of a Christmas green. Uh, so anyway, that was the green video. I'm so sorry that none of it, literally, it's none of it looks anything like what it looks like in real life. So I'm sorry about that. Hopefully you might enjoy the ambience of just me writing or the scratching of the pen on paper, whatever. I don't know. But uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully it'll be more accurate if I use different colors. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.